Hello, hey. um, I'm Bart. I practiced my uh, question so many times that I lost my voice, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, amazing. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you because um, I started my career as an entrepreneur by trying to build the next Facebook. But uh, thanks to um, your speeches on self-awareness, I, I came to realize that I lose sleep over borrowing 100 100 euros from my brother, so, you know, I probably will never build the next Facebook, that, <laughs> having that in mind. So, uh, a year ago, um, I started to uh, build a data migration company, you know, organically, so um, I landed a big customer, and now uh, I get paid every day, and I'm developing my stuff, and we went live in production uh, in Chile uh, in December, and now this year, for the same company, we will do USA, um, Mexico and Canada, so it's going really great. Um, but my question to you was, you, you talk a lot about patience, so, but you also talk sometimes about speed. And patience for me, that would be, you know, continue with the same, with the can one... I, can I answer you real fast and you'll understand it forever? Okay. Macro patience, micro speed. Yeah, okay. That, okay let, yeah. And let me expand on it, because that <laughs> didn't work, fuck. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, back, back, back. Macro patience, you're a young man, building something meaningful, a relationship, a business, it takes 10, 20, 30 years. On your day-to-day -day work, you have to be fast. Uh, with the clients, they email you, you email them back. Like, your day-to-day, -day, but your vision, what you wanna achieve in life, you're not gonna build it in one year. And so many people have it reversed. In the day-to-day, -day, they're slow, and in the macro, they want their business to be huge the next day. So you need to reverse it. So, so if you have to make the, the decision between, uh, in my case, building a better framework or focusing on that or trying to find more customers, what would you, what would you advise? Knowing that I don't need the money of yep. new customers right now. Both. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And so, and so here's, another ver here's an answer of both. Number one, how hard are you working? I don't know. If you're working tw 12 hours a day, I feel like you could work 17 if you <laughs> want, right? Number two, if you're working every hour and you can't work more, with the money that's coming in, too many young people and too many young businesses, when they start having money come in, take it for themselves. They wanna buy a good watch. They wanna buy a good car. They wanna buy fancier shoes. What I would do is when my first money, so here's my story. This is not advice I'm giving just for fun. This is my life. I walked in my dad's store. It did $3 million a year, 10% gross profit, $300,000 in profit before expenses. We had no money. I was making $40,000 a year, 37.4 actually. And I built that business from three to 45 million in the first kind of four or five years. And five years later, five years later, this is doing $45 million in sales and I'm making $40,000. This is the advice I gave. And by the way, I was in my 20s and a guy. The exact time, if you're making that kind of money, that you wanna use it to do guy things, right? I put it back into the business. I hired four more managers, six more managers, seven more managers. I did more advertising. I built a business. So if this money's coming from Chile and the US and Mexico, hire people. Then okay. you can do both. Okay, thanks. You're welcome.